you end up in prison again? Yep. Was that was it Turkey? Turkey. What happened? I went to visit a friend of mine whose wife had just had a baby because I was working then in Sainsbury's in the warehouse. And as a matter of fact, I was 10 years in Sainsbury's warehouse. <laughs> and my friend, his wife had just had a baby, so I thought, well, I'll go across and see him. I went across to see him. Unknown to me, he's grafting on the brown. When I went to the house, he wasn't there. His wife, she couldn't speak much English. You know, he, he, magic, not here, magic. So I said, well, okay. I gave her the presents for the children, told her the hotel I was staying at, and that was it. About four days later, my hotel door comes in, soldiers storm in with stub machine guns. That was it. They'd nicked him with a um, 22 kilo in a tire. And what they do in Turkey, when they're on observation, everybody who goes to that house is photographed and arrested at the time that the suspect is arrested, which I was one of the people. So of course they contacted Liverpool and Liverpool said, oh yes, yes, He's into heroin. He's into heroin. And that was it. Even though I'd, I hadn't been in trouble for 10 years and I was working as a warehouseman, that was the shit they came up with. How much did you get? I got 10 years. So you got a 20 stretch and a 10 stretch yeah. for smack yeah. and you were never dealing with that, it? That's, that's what hurts. Because obviously looking from the outside, the coppers would thinking, you're just making shit up. It's hard to believe yeah. a man who was active, top of the tree, driving a white Rolls yeah. Royce, in Africa, doing shipments over to the docks to Liverpool, to the two times you do get caught with phone calls in Turkey, people are going to think, well, he's just blatantly caught and he's not he's not admitting it. Yeah. Does that hurt? It hurts. It hurts. I'm, I'm, and what hurts is that the people in Liverpool, eight, know I wasn't involved in heroin because they knew all the people involved in heroin. And that's it. Yeah. So where did you do your 10? In a, a place called Maltepe which, I mean, Turkish prisons are totally different because when you go in, you get a blanket, a mattress, and a pillow. That's it. Spoon, cup, saucer, food, everything else you have to buy yourself. If you have no money, you get nothing. Nothing. You get food uh, three times a day and minimal food. And that's it. Any trouble in the Turkish prisons? Yeah, it's, it, it's very, very gang orientated. I mean, the first um, wing I was on was run by um, uh, Macedonians and Russians and a lot of um, racism from the Eastern Europeans. And I got thrown off a couple of wings. I ended up on a, a, an Arab wing which wasn't too bad, but uh, pff, hell, hell on earth. What are you then thinking if you're, you're working in Sainsbury's, trying to be a family man, you say you met the, the love of your life, again, that, not fuck up, but again, the, the misery you've caused the people who love you. Yeah. How did your wife handle that? And why did she well, stick by you? She stuck by me because she loved me, she loved our son. And loved our life, and that was it. How hard is that for you to be in there? Because you're very emotional today, and it's it's a good thing as well, because it's a release. But I don't know if it's a build up or maybe you get emotional all the time. But how hard is that to 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 see that when the people you love? Because it's mad. Because I always say that's just because you're a criminal or done bad things. It doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person. Yeah. It's just that life, that environment where you think it's normal. It's not to you. Yeah, actually, some. There you have some people call it a spiritual awakening or just an awakening to realise what the fuck was I doing. But how hard is that to see your wife who's you then think it's come in and, and is the one who then makes you see the world differently to them being back in prison? Did you have to explain to her? Or did she know it was But she knew she knew I wasn't at it. She knew I wasn't at the heroin. And it hurt, as I say, with her being so loyal, it hurt even more. Because I'd never had such loyalty. What age were you then? <sighs> mm, 
Do you like 60? 60? Mm-hmm. Fuck's sake, Michael. So Stephen, you're working in Sainsbury's and stuff. How was that life from White Rolls Royce, buying houses, cash, everybody loving you because they think you're the man about town, to then be working in Sainsbury's? Was it a better feeling working in Sainsbury's? Or it was It was better because there was no worries. There was no worries about people knocking on my door because I knew it wasn't at it. But then again, you don't have to think you're at it. If they think you're at it, that's it. Did anybody ever try and test you in Sainsbury's? No, uh, there had been a couple of television programmes and things like that and people sort of knew what was about. And that was it. 